So we've talked about the main goal for the outlets. What are we trying to achieve? The proper mixing of the air along with satisfying the architectural requirements. However, before we get into the design details, we have to establish important fundamentals. And one of the most important fundamentals is the definition, the proper definition of an occupied zone. Now, from the terminology occupied, it means you have individuals occupying that space. And that is quite correct. Occupied zone is the area within your space that is occupied by individuals. Now, as per standards, the occupied zone has been defined within, with regard to specific parameters within the space. If you take a look at the picture that we have in front of us, you will notice that we have the occupied zone, which is starting from the ground level, the floor level, all the way to six feet above the floor. That's the maximum height for the occupied zone. And we have one foot clearance between each side of the walls within the room. So this space is basically my occupied zone in which my in the individuals are going to be present within that zone. They don't have to occupy it fully, but they're going to be there. So the question is, what is the point then of defining an occupied zone? Now, the main reason for defining an occupied zone is basically, as we go about the design process, we want to avoid the air going into the space from penetrating the zone. Why? Because once we have air outlets releasing conditioned air that goes through the zone, we are risking two things. Uneven distribution of the air, where some areas are hot, the others are cold, and that will be felt to the people in that zone, by individuals in that zone, or drafts, in which we have high velocities of air going through that zone. It's like someone walking while the wind is coming their way. So that will be quite uncomfortable. Both scenarios where we have uneven distribution of temperature at the same time we have an excessive velocity of the air within the occupied zone will cause uncomfortable conditions for our occupants. So we aim, our aim is to define a zone which is the occupied zone in which we are going to avoid entering that zone rather that we are going to envelope our zone with conditioned air having such sort of a hugging effect we're going to envelope that area such that the conditioned air will not go through the occupied zone rather than it's going to encompass or cover that zone, ensuring proper mixing and air distribution at comfortable velocities. Now, there have been different applications within the industry. They have been documented uh, as per standards such as ASHRAE, um, along with successful installations where people have been asked how they felt about um, their, how, how is their comfort level within a specific setting, and it has been documented. On the right side, we have a table for you in which I'm going to show you the different velocities that were present within multiple spaces and what was the reaction of the people and what is the recommended application based on that velocity range. Now let's take a look at the table. At the first column we have the room air velocity which is in feet per minute. We have the range of 0 to 16, 25, 25 to 50, 65, 75, 75 to 300 feet per minute. Now, what was the reaction for individuals in a space in which the air velocity was 0 to 16 between that range? There were complaints about the air being stagnant, not moving. Some areas were hot, some areas were cold. What do we recommend it for? We don't recommend this at all because this velocity or these veloc this velocity range for air is not suited for any application whatsoever. Now, 25 feet per minute within an occupied space, this is the ideal design or favorable range. All commercial applications should fall within this velocity range, which is quite acceptable. Actually, it can go up to 50 feet per minute, 25 to 50. But if you are in that range, 25 to 50 feet per minute within a space, it means you're achieving optimum comfort levels. Now, take a look at 25 to 50. Now, probably favorable, but 50 FPM, it means we're approaching the maximum acceptable velocity for a seated person. So if someone is sitting down and we're getting close to 50 feet per minute for the velocity inside the room, it means we're getting to the maximum, which is still acceptable, but we are risking borderline crossing over to unacceptable velocities. Now, all commercial applications, we recommend these velocity ranges from 25 to 50. If we go for 65, this is unfavorable. Light papers are going to be blown off a desk. If someone is doing paperwork on the desk and the outlets are releasing air flowing at 65 feet per minute, the papers are gone from the desk. So this is quite uncomfortable and not recommended. Similarly for 75, upper limit for people moving about slowly, 
which is favorable if they are moving, not stagnant. Now, where do we recommend this? For retail or department stores, where people are going back and forth, they're moving, they're not staying or sitting in the space. Now, 75 to 300 for factories mainly. Some factory air conditioning installations, this is basically the favorable application in which we have, let's say, a department store, a factory air conditioning, where we have really high ceilings and we have really big open spaces that are, let's say, will allow us to tolerate such um, increase in velocities. But as far as we are concerned with commercial and residential applications, we should stay in this range. 25 to 50 feet per minute this range is the comfortable range in which people within the space they will be comfortable they will be satisfied with the air at the same time the air will not be moving quite too fast in, in unacceptable ranges and will be ensuring proper distribution of the air therefore the temperature will be evenly spread within the room not to have areas which are cold or hot hence hot spots if you heard that term before, some rooms, for example, they have hot spots in which the air is not reaching, the conditioned air is not reaching those spots, which are hotter than the other parts of the space. So guys, this is basically a very in-depth explanation of the occupied zone. So let's summarize it. It is basically the space occupied by individuals and is defined by the following parameters. Six feet from the floor all the way to, to the top level, which is six feet, less than the ceiling. And we have one foot from the from the side wall and one foot from the other side wall such that we have a semi rectangle let's say six feet by um, six feet by one on the left side and one foot on the right side so keep that in mind in order to have an idea about the occupied zone that you'll be dealing with in whatever project that you have and we've taken a look at the acceptable uh, velocity ranges that we have and we established that the acceptable tolerable velocity within a space is basically 25 to 50 feet per minute but from application point of view the upper limit is 50 feet per minute if you are within that zone you should be okay but if you cross that velocity it means you're risking your comfort and you're risking the comfort of the occupants and jeopardizing your design requirements so uh, this uh, covers the segment and we're going to proceed in the following segment to tackle further more details of our design approach.